there's, there's quite a few things you learn along the way. I mean, one thing that I really think you've got to be is open-minded in terms of the parents and taking on their feedback. And <laughs> there's been a lot in the press about, you know, teacher bashing and parents sort of getting on top of parents and writing horrible messages and sort of saying, you know, should you be doing this, should you be doing that? And, and it's just, it's all press talk because I don't think it's as bad as it's made out to be. Admitted there are there are some comments that you get from parents that, you know, you've got to make friends with your parents. You've got to find a way of getting through. And, and all classes have class contacts. Sometimes they have two, you know, parents who manage a WhatsApp group. I really believe we've got to break down that barrier and be on the phone with them, you know, and you might even be WhatsApping them, you know, every couple of days. They can help you. They can get you to kids that you can't directly because the parents talk. And I've got some good examples of this where I've got a couple of children who've not come on my Zoom calls, but I've actually worked with the class contact. And it's how you do it. You've got to be very careful how you do it, certainly in terms of safeguarding and what you say. But there's ways where you can really bring a class together by working with the parents and being open-minded to their views. You know, I've taken some feedback from my Zoom calls about things, and I've been really grateful you know, on one particular Zoom call, I was playing my guitar and it was too loud and, and very nicely, the, um, and it was all cracky, but no one said anything until after. And the parent didn't. It was really, really nice. And they felt they were able to do that. So the, re the way you get in touch with the parents is empathizing with them. And how do you empathize with them? Well, at school, you will have some teachers who are parents. I happen to be one as well. And I know exactly what it's like to homeschool kids. And this is why when you do see in the press about parents saying, oh, we've got to get our kids back and all this, and it's... I see it both sides. I see how unsafe schools were. But I also see what a nightmare is it at home. So leaders need to talk to their parent teachers at school and find out what they think and really get into the world of what it's like. And, um, you know, I sort of call in terms of IT um, sort of technology stuff, you know, you kind of want a super user who's very good at using the tech. You kind of want a super parent teacher as well who you can chat to, converse with and know what it feels like to be at home and I think that would be my top tip we we automatically are more in touch with teachers um sorry with parents but it's harder perhaps for your more um, younger teachers your newer teachers and I you know 10 years ago I was a new teacher and it scared me speaking to parents so we have to support those teachers to feel like they they can speak to the parents and have that knowledge of what it's like being at home um, because that is the other problem as well, that some teachers won't appreciate how difficult it is um, for parents. So I think that would be my kind of top tip. And that can actually also be, in terms of I'm thinking about an app, Seesaw, that we use, you know, become a parent on it. You know, get the family app, see what it looks like to be a parent of a child in the class. That's also really useful.